The Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs is working assiduously to address the issue of overcrowding at the indigenous residents in Georgetown. Sinica Thorne spoke with Subject Minister Sidney Alicock. Minister Alicock explained that the indigenous residence was not designed to house the number of persons it has been accommodating over the past years. Recognizing this, the government in its 2018 budget allocated the sum of $20 million to renovate and extend the facility. This will cater for four additional modern rooms. The building as it was designed many years ago was not designed to be a hospital or to, to, to take off this workload. However, we have recognized it. Uh, population is growing, the demand becomes more, so we are making the adjustments. We actually have voted some $20 million to help with that remedy. Uh, it's at the moment a, a work in progress and we are hoping that we could bring some relief very shortly to, to the residents. In the interim, the western half of the building was extended along with minor upgrades to the rooms. Administrator Claire Emanuel explained that these works would have brought some relief to the residents. For last year, um, 2017, we ministry has done a lot of work on the building itself to enhance the building. So persons can be much more comfortable during the course of stay at the indigenous residence. Uh, we did extension of dining hall. We repaint the entire dining hall. Repairs to repainting of the external part of the building. Repainting of five rooms, female dorms, including uh, steps and repairs to lattice work. We also done repairs to six rooms in the male dorms. That's three rooms upstairs and three rooms downstairs. This is including um, replacing windows. Built in the late 1960s, the indigenous residence, formerly known as the Amerinian Hostel, was constructed to accommodate 120 persons at any one time. However, the building currently houses close to 130 persons. In 2017 alone, the facility provided accommodation, transportation and meals for 2,153 persons seeking medical attention or conducting business in Georgetown and further afield. Sinika Thorne, Foreign Info Hub.